Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Oxycode. Welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to talk about static properties and static methods. So okay, uh, we talked about class methods and they look like this. Echo test. But to call this method we have to uh, instantiate uh, an object with this class, so something like some car equals new car. Okay, and then just use something within the some car variable. But we can use a just a static key, uh, just a static keyword, and we can now use this function within the class namespace, and we don't really need to instantiate an object. So let's just check that out. Okay, let's return return test and echo car print okay yeah it works pretty well so okay uh, and now as you can see we have no new car so we don't need to instantiate this uh, you know an object within this class so uh, this is basically a static method and we can create also static properties hello shrink hello I am shrink I am static shrink to be a little bit more precise so well okay and we can access them uh, within the same syntax let's just check that out hello I am static string and as you can see I uh, set the public visibility modifier to both this method and this uh, property, static property, but I can change it to protect it very easily. Okay, and let's just check that out. Okay, so we still cannot access a protected property even if it is static. So, but we can access a static properties within, but this property, you know, it is protected, but it is still, uh, we are still available to access this property within this method, within this class. This property is still available and we can refer to this property within a keyword self. Uh, you may remember that we used uh, this uh, pseudo variable uh, several videos before when we talked about the constructors. Uh, when we talk about the instantiated objects and when we talk about the non-static methods, uh, ma the you know methods that are accessible within the object, not within the class, we use uh, dollar these so the variable and when we uh, are in a static method or in a static method we are not allowed to use this because we don't really have an instantiated object we don't have it uh, and that's why we cannot refer to dollar this but we can refer to dollar self which is you know almost referred to this class almost referred we will talk about it a little bit later uh, yeah I just uh, because you know there are some uh, kind of issues with that and uh, you know some uh, ways to cope with that uh, when we extend some classes it is called lay static binding and we will tef definitely talk about it a little bit later but for now we can refer to the uh, these uh, static variables within this class uh, with a keyword self and a double colon so hello shrink and let's just get back to our print and it works okay so perfect now we covered the static properties the static methods uh, I showed you that we can use the visibility modifiers within the static properties and static methods so I can create a, a protected static function print print to or an, another print or another representation and just use it right here inside this uh, static print function so uh, well that is all for now I think and uh, thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, if you like the video please click uh, this button so uh, I'll see you in the very next video